In 1964, Stephen H. Dole and Isaac Asimov got together and wrote a cute little book entitled, Planets for Men. Chapter 6 The Nearest Candidates In attempting to answer the question with which the previous chapter closed, involving the whereabouts of the closest habitable planets, let us consider the stars that lie within 22 light years of the Sun. These include 100 stars visible by naked eye or telescope plus 11 more that represent unseen companions detected by other than directly optical means. This makes 111 near neighbors altogether. 68 of these 111 can be omitted at once as having no reasonable likelihood of possessing habitable planets for the following reasons, 3, Sirius Procyon and Altair, are excessively massive and therefore too short-lived. 7 are white dwarfs and have gone through catastrophic stages in development that surely destroyed any habitable planets that might ever have existed about them. 57 are too small and would have too powerful a tidal breaking effect on any planet close enough to be at habitable temperatures. Finally 1, 40 Eridaniae, otherwise acceptable is in a system with a nearby white dwarf a fact that produces inadmissible complications for any habitable planet in the neighborhood. This leaves some 43 of our nearest neighbors with at least some chance of possessing habitable planets. Of these 43 however 1, Lalan 21185A, is borderline. It is in a multiple star system of which the orbital characteristics, though not well established, would if current estimates are correct be incompatible with the existence of stable planetary orbits within an ecosphere. An additional 28 are borderline in the sense that they are so small that a habitable planet could only exist if it possessed a satellite large enough and close enough to maintain its rotation rate in the habitable range. If we omit the borderline cases too we are left with 14 stars among our immediate neighbors each with a probability of possessing a habitable planet of over 0.01, better than one chance in 100 in other words. Let us take up each of these 14 separately in the order of their increasing distance from the solar system. Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B Because of its location close to the south celestial pole the Alpha Centauri system consisting of three stars cannot be seen from positions on the Earth's surface north of latitude 30 degrees north, roughly the latitude of New Orleans Louisiana, Cairo Egypt, and Shanghai China. The apparent orbit of Alpha Centauri B around Alpha Centauri A as obtained from numerous telescopic observations over the past century is extremely elongated since it is seen almost edge-on from the Earth. The actual orbit has an eccentricity of 0.52 which means that the distance separating the stars differs considerably with the position of Alpha Centauri B in the orbit. At the point of closest approach, periastron, the two stars are separated by about 1 billion miles somewhat more than the distance of Saturn from the Sun. At the point of farthest separation, a pastron, the distance between the two stars is about 3.3 billion miles somewhat more than the distance of Neptune from the Sun. Even at periastron distance the separation of the two stars is sufficiently large to allow each to have a full ecosphere undisturbed by the other. Although there is no theoretical method of completely determining the stability of orbits of planetary bodies in multibody systems approximate methods of treatment suggest that habitable planets, if any, orbiting within the ecospheres of Alpha Centauri A, or Alpha Centauri B should have highly stable orbits. The larger of the two stars Alpha Centauri A is a star very similar to the Sun. Its spectral class is given as G4, or sometimes as G0, its apparent visual magnitude of 0.09 makes it the brightest star, in appearance, of any of the stars on our list of candidates. Its mass is about 1.08 times that of our Sun and the probability of its possessing a habitable planet is about 0.054, or about one chance in 19. Alpha Centauri b is somewhat smaller of spectral class K1, or K5. It has an apparent visual magnitude of 1.38 and a mass 0.88 times that of our Sun. Its probability of possessing a habitable planet is about 0.057, or one chance in 18. The third component of the system. Alpha Centauri C, often called Proxima Centauri, is far distant from the other two and can have no possible effect on the habitability of planets circling the larger components. 
it is itself far too small to have even the faintest chance of possessing a habitable planet. Since any traveler reaching Alpha Centauri A will also in effect have reached Alpha Centauri B he would reasonably be interested in the probability that a habitable planet would be found circling one or the other, and he could scarcely care which. The probability that one of the two possesses a habitable planet turns out to be 0.107 or just about one chance in 9.3. As it happens this is the highest probability for any star or star system on our list and it is rather a stroke of luck that this probability is to be found for the star nearest to us. We have our best single chance at the cost of the shortest possible trip. Epsilon Eridani Located in the sky about 10 degrees south of the celestial equator. Epsilon Eridani can be seen from any part of the Earth's land surface except for some far Arctic regions. It is an isolated star, no companion has ever been detected, of spectral class K2, or K0. Its apparent visual magnitude is 4.2 and its mass is estimated to be about 0.80 times that of the Sun. The probability that it possesses a habitable planet is 0.033, or 1 chance in 30. Tau Ceti. Tau Ceti is fairly close to Epsilon Eridani in the night sky. It is in a neighboring constellation and only slightly farther south. Like Epsilon Eridani Tau Ceti is apparently an isolated star. Its spectral class is variously given as G4, G8 and K0. Its apparent visual magnitude is 3.65 and its mass is estimated to be 0.82 times that of the Sun. The probability that it possesses a habitable planet is 0.036, one chance in 28. Both Epsilon Eridani and Tau Ceti were listened to in the spring of 1960 during the course of what was called Project Ozma an attempt to detect information bearing radio signals directed toward our Sun by possible intelligent inhabitants of planets of these stars. An 85-foot diameter radio telescope at Green Bank, West Virginia was used. Radio waves with a wavelength of 21 cm were listened for because this is the wavelength emitted by the neutral hydrogen atoms that make up most of the interstellar matter of the galaxy. It was reasoned that radio astronomers on any planet would be interested in that wavelength and would assume that any radio astronomers on other planets would be equipped to receive it. No signals were detected. In a way this is not surprising. The joint probability that Epsilon Eridani and Tau Ceti might have one habitable planet between them is estimated to be about 0.07, or one chance in 14. The probability that a given habitable planet will be inhabited by intelligent beings at a sufficiently advanced stage of technology to beam strong radio signals out into space is difficult to estimate but certainly it must be quite low. It should be remembered after all that if the reverse experiment were conducted it would be no more successful. If creatures on some planet orbiting around Epsilon Eridani or Tau Ceti had directed their radio telescopes toward our sun they would have heard no radio signals betokening life. We are not sending out signals on a wavelength of 21 centimeters for them to detect. Indeed until the last half century of the hundred thousand or more years during which highly intelligent life has existed on the Earth such radio waves would have been beyond our capacity to send. For all of these reasons the negative results of Project Ozma represent no cause for pessimism and give us no reason to cut down any of the probability estimates in this book. 70 Afi Yuki, A. The system of 70 Afi Yuka consists of two stars revolving around each other with a period of 87.85 years in an orbit with an eccentricity of 0.50. The orbits described by the two stars are almost identical with those described by Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. No third companion has been established for the system although dark companions are suspected. The brighter star 70 Afi Yuka, a has an apparent magnitude of 4.19 and a mass about 0.90 times that of our Sun, hence it has a 0.057 probability of possessing a habitable planet, or one chance in 18. The less massive component 70 Afi Yuka B is of spectral class K5 with a mass about 0.65 times that of the Sun. It is a borderline case capable of supporting only a satellite-stabilized planet. As seen from the system of 70 Afi Yuka the Sun would appear as a third magnitude star in the constellation Orion not far from the belt. Eta Cassiopeiae 
The binary system of Eta Cassiopeia has a period of the order of 500 years and an orbital eccentricity of 0.53. The existence of a third component is not well established. The orbits of the two stars would have the same relative shapes as those of the two stars of the Alpha Centauri and 70 Ophiuchus systems but the stars of the Eta Cassiopeia system would be separated by some three times the distance. Eta Cassiopeia A has an apparent magnitude 3.54 a spectral class F9 and a mass about 0.94 times that of our Sun. The probability of its possessing a habitable planet is 0.057, one chance in 18. The smaller component. Eta Cassiopeia B is of spectral class K6 and has a mass of 0.58 times that of our Sun. Like 70 Afi Yuka B it is a borderline case with very little chance of possessing a habitable planet. Our Sun as seen from the Eta Cassiopeia system would appear to be embedded in the Southern Cross. Sigma Draconis. This is the most northerly star in the list and appears to be an isolated star. Its apparent magnitude is 4.72 and it is in spectral class G9 with a mass about 0.82 times that of our Sun. There is a probability of about 0.036, one chance in 28, that it has a habitable planet. 36 Afi Yuki A and 36 Afi Yuki B. This system consisting of three stars lies almost directly between us and the center of our galaxy. The orbital elements of the system have not yet been established. The brightest star 36 Afi Yuki A is in spectral class K2 has an apparent magnitude of 5.17 and a mass about 0.77 times that of the Sun. Thus it has a probability of about 0.023, or one chance in 43, of having a habitable planet. As for 36 Afi Yuki B it is in spectral class K1 with a mass about 0.76 times that of the Sun. Its probability of having a habitable planet is 0.020, or one chance in 50. This pair of stars is very close indeed to being an example of twin suns. Here as in the Alpha Centauri system we might calculate the chance of a habitable planet orbiting around either of the two brighter components of the system. This probability comes to 0.042, one chance in 24. Finally the third component 36 Afi Yuka C in spectral class K6 has a mass about 0.63 times that of our Sun and is another borderline case for which the probability of a habitable planet is very small. HR 7703A This system is in the southern constellation Sagittarius and it consists of two stars for which the orbital elements have not yet been determined. The brighter star HR 7703A has an apparent magnitude of 5.24 is of spectral class K2 and has an estimated mass 0.76 times that of the Sun. The probability of its having a habitable planet is 0.020, one chance in 50. The smaller component HR 7703B is of spectral class M5 and is far too small to possess a habitable planet. Delta Pavonis even more southerly than Alpha Centauri Delta Pavonis cannot be seen by observers on the Earth's surface north of latitude 23 degrees north, that is from anywhere in the north temperate or north frigid zones. It is apparently an isolated star of spectral class G7. Its apparent magnitude is 3.67 and its mass is 0.98 times that of our Sun. The probability of its possessing a habitable planet is 0.057, or one chance in 18. 82 Eridani. Another apparently isolated star 82 Eridani cannot be seen from latitudes north of 46 degrees north, the latitude of Portland, Oregon. Its spectral class is G5 its apparent magnitude is 4.3 and its estimated mass is 0.91 times that of our Sun. Its probability of possessing a habitable planet is 0.057, or one chance in 18. Beta Hydri. This is the most southerly star on our list of candidates and cannot be seen north of latitude 10 degrees north, the latitude of the Panama Canal. It is an isolated G1 star with an apparent visual magnitude of 2.90 and an estimated mass 1.23 times that of our Sun. It has a probability of 0.037, one chance in 28, of possessing a habitable planet. HR 8832. 
This is the faintest and most distant star on our list. It is an isolated star in the constellation Cassiopeia. It is in spectral class K3 has an apparent magnitude of 5.67 and an estimated mass 0.74 times that of the Sun. The probability of its possessing a habitable planet is only 0.011, one chance in 90. Overall view of the Sun's neighborhood. To summarize the 14 stars on our list we present them now in order of distance, star Alpha Centauri A, distance from Earth 4.3 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.054. Star Alpha Centauri B, distance from Earth 4.3 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.057. Star Epsilon Eridani, distance from Earth 10.8 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.033. Star Tau Ceti, distance from Earth 12.2 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.036. Star 70 Afi Yuki A, distance from Earth 17.3 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.057. Star Eta Cassiopeia A, distance from Earth 18.0 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.057. Star Sigma Draconis, distance from Earth 18.2 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.036. Star 36 Afi Yuki, A, distance from Earth 18.2 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.023. Star 36 Afi Yuki B, distance from Earth 18.2 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.020. Star HR 7703A, distance from Earth 18.6 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.020. Star Delta Pavonis, distance from Earth 19.2 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.057. Star 82 Eridani, distance from Earth 20.9 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.057. Star Beta Hydri, distance from Earth 21.3 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.037. Star HR8832, distance from Earth 21.4 light years, probability of a habitable planet 0.011. Naturally the above estimates of probabilities are very uncertain and are subject to future revision. The combined probability of the existence of at least one habitable planet in the whole volume of space out to a distance of 22 light years from the Sun is about 0.43. In gambler's parlance, we might say that the odds were about 3 to 2 against our finding even a single habitable planet in the entire list of 14 candidates presented above, to say nothing of the remaining 97 stars seen and unseen that occupy the volume of space within 22 light years of the Sun. Still those are not such bad odds considering that we are dealing with but a trifling corner of the galaxy our own doorstep so to speak. Once we learn to make our way among the stars we will undoubtedly be prepared to go much farther than 22 light years and out in the rest of the galaxy 600 million habitable planets, by our estimate, await us.